Well, good evening and welcome to the Upper Room service. We're glad you're participating. It's a good time for us all as a church family to gather around the table. You might want to get your elements ready and you'll notice that in the little kit that we give you, there are two peel-off tabs. The first is very light and clear and that gets you to the uh, wafer. And then the second one is a little bit thicker and a little purple and you can pull it off when it's time to get to the cup. Get those ready and be ready to participate in just a minute. Among the Jewish people, Passover has always been observed around the table with one's family. There is something to be learned from the religious instruction in the observant Jewish home, especially at Passover, when there is an order of service and participation by the family members. Each food has significance. It is a very meaningful time. Naturally, the Passover would have been very meaningful to Jesus and His disciples. The Bible says that when the hour came, Jesus reclined at the table and the apostles with Him. And then He said to them, I have fervently desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Yes, among Jewish families, the Passover has always been observed around the table as a family. Among believers, the Lord's Supper is observed around the table with one's church family. Tonight we remember the time the Lord spent with His disciples around the table on that final Passover night. We remember the events and sufferings which would shortly follow. And through this supper, we remember the living Lord Jesus, who before He suffered, gave us this memorial of His sacrifice until His coming again. The Bible says the Lord Jesus on that night when He was betrayed took bread, and when He had given thanks, He broke it and said, This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, He took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Please read with me the confession of faith shown on the screen. We proclaim that our Lord Jesus was sent by the Father into the world, that He took upon Himself our flesh and blood, and bore the wrath of God against our sin. We confess that He was condemned to die that we might be pardoned and suffered death that we might live. We proclaim that He is risen to make us right with God, and that He shall come again in glory to His new creation. We do this now and until He comes again. Please join me as we pray. Heavenly Father, may Your Spirit indwelling us, Your people, anoint the experience of this bread and cup, that they may remind us of Christ's body and blood, and that in partaking we may be one single body and one single spirit in Christ, a living sacrifice through the praise of your glory. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We come now to the bread. Please take your wafer and hold it in your hand. The bread reminds us how Jesus gave Himself into the hands of wicked people to suffer agony in His body on the cross. Take, eat, remember and believe that the body of our Lord Jesus Christ was given for a complete remission of all our sins. Come now to the cup. Please take your cup and hold it in your hand. The cup which we drink is our participation 
in the blood of Christ. Take, drink, remember and believe that the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ was shed for a complete remission of all our sins. And after the supper, they went out into the night. Jesus went to pray in a place where they pressed olives into oil. And being in anguish, he prayed more fervently, and his sweat became like drops of blood falling to the ground. Look, an hour is coming, and has come, when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. Then Jesus said to them, Tonight all of you will run away because of me, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. Jesus said to them, My soul is swallowed up in sorrow, to the point of death. Remain here and stay awake with me. He came to the disciples and found them sleeping. So you couldn't stay awake with me for one hour. Judas, who betrayed him, also knew the place. So Judas took a company of soldiers and some temple police from the chief priests and the Pharisees and came there with lanterns, torches, and weapons. Then they all deserted him and ran away. Peter said, I don't know what you're talking about. Immediately, while he was still speaking, a rooster crowed. Carrying his own cross, he went out to what is called Skull Place, which in Hebrew is called Golgotha. And there they crucified him.